Take five seedless cucumbers, a round of gouda cheese, rubber bands, basic kitchen utensils, and a sensor that responds to sound. The result? A computerized cucumber hand that opens and closes its fist when addressed. Here in Pittsburgh, nearly a hundred were created as part of a massive public education program organized by Carnegie Mellon's Robotics Institute, which sent teams into neighborhoods to work with children, artists, and senior citizens in an effort to mainstream robots and demystify technology. We, we map the plaza, and so any movement that's happening in the plaza will trigger a different gesture. A robotic styrofoam sheep and a small wooden roller coaster mounted on the roof of the Children's Museum were some of the creations. The edible ones were made by a local design company's CEO who wanted an appropriate appetizer for a robot gala. He experimented with several materials, like string cheese and granola bars, before ruling them out for reasons of texture. It's somehow fitting that Pittsburgh is where you can go eat the latest in robots. Some of the world's first robots were made in Pittsburgh when Westinghouse Electric created a robot that controlled dam water levels and another that could walk and smoke a cigarette. For the Wall Street Journal Digital Network, I'm Araby Williams.